Hi there, Mr. Sutton here with the IM3 4.2 Extra Practice Number 1 Solutions on Quadratic Formula. For this problem, I notice that we have a square term and a constant, so I can actually solve this one just by square rooting both sides. On the left side, that gives me just x minus 5 thirds. And on the right side, since I'm square rooting an equation, I've got a plus or minus root of 49 over 9. Now, I can actually square root these right away. That's just going to be 7 over 3, so plus or minus 7 thirds. And to keep going here, I have to add 5 thirds over to the other side to get x by itself. So I have 5 thirds plus or minus 7 over 3. But I'm not totally done, because I can actually combine these and get two distinct answers. For one answer, we've got 5 plus 7 all over 3. And that's really 12 over 3, which is 4. For the other answer, we've got 5 minus 7 over 3. And that's just going to simplify to negative 2 thirds. So those are our two answers. For this one, we have no linear term. Um, so that tells us that we can solve this one by isolating the x squared and square rooting both sides. To start that process, let's subtract 4 to get it over to the other side. And now I'm going to square root both sides. Now when I do this, a few things are going to happen. Um, so I'm going to have x equals a plus or minus, because I'm square rooting an equation. And since I'm square rooting negative 4, I can pop an i out of that radical to get just positive 4 inside the radical. So I've got plus or minus i radical 4 then on the right side after I square root this equation. Now I can simplify a little further. Square root of 4 is 2. So then x equals plus or minus 2i. Trying to solve this equation, I notice that we have only this squared term and a bunch of constants. Since that's the case, that means I can try to solve this one by isolating the one squared term here and then square rooting both sides. To start that process of isolation, let me add 25 over to the other side. That'll give me 75 over there. And continuing the process, I need to divide both sides by 3 to really get this squared term all by itself. 75 divided by 3 gives me 25. Now I can square root both sides. So if I square root the left side, that just gives me x plus 2 with no square. On the right side, I'm going to have a 5. But now since I'm square rooting an equation, I have a positive and negative root that solve the equation. So that's really plus or minus 5 that I have to write over there. And to get x truly by itself, let me subtract 2. So I can write this as negative 2 plus or minus 5. At this point, it's time to actually combine these together since I can. I can't just leave it as a plus or minus since I actually can combine negative 2 and 5. So negative 2 plus 5, that's going to give me positive 3. And then negative 2 minus 5 gives me negative 7. So those are my two solutions. For this problem, since I have a linear term in this quadratic equation, I will need to use the quadratic formula unless I want to try factoring it, which I don't. Um, so just rewriting this, I'm going to rewrite this as basically the same thing, but I'm going to put a little 1 in here and color code everything, but really put this negative 1 um, just so I know what that b value is. Now writing out my quadratic formula, that's negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And plugging things into that, we've got negative, negative 1. B value here is negative 1. Plus or minus square root of negative 1 squared. And then we have minus 4 times the A value, 6, times the C value, negative 15, all over 2 times the A value, 6. Simplifying all of this, we've got negative, negative 1, which is positive 1. We have plus or minus square root of, let's see, negative 1 squared is positive 1 inside there. And then we've got two negatives here, so we're going to be adding this next term. 6, let's see, uh, 4 times, let me add, I can multiply these in any order I want. Um, so let me see, 4 times 15 would be 60. 6 times 60 is 360. So this is plus 360 that we're doing in there. And that's all over 12. All right, simplifying a little further, uh, 1 plus 360 is 361. And at this point, I need to simplify this radical as much as I can. Answers should be in simplest radical form. 
So my first question, since I don't really know a whole lot about 361, is, is this already a perfect square? Let me square root it on the calculator. So on the calculator, square root of 361 actually gives me 19, so that's a perfect square. Nice. So we've got 1 plus or minus 19 then, all over 12. And since I can combine the 1 and the 19 together, um, this is actually something where I have to write out the two different solutions. I can't just leave this as plus or minus because I can go a little further. So let's do 1 plus 19 over 12 to start with. That's going to be 20 over 12, which I can reduce by 4 to 5 thirds. And then my other solution is 1 minus 19 over 12. That's negative 18 over 12 which I can reduce by sixes to negative three over two. For this problem, I notice that I have a linear term, so I can't just solve by square rooting. Um, the good news is that everything's already on one side, so if I'm gonna factor or use quadratic formula, things are already where they need to be. Now, just looking at this real quick, um, if you're trying to find factors of negative 2 that add up to negative 5, you will not be able to find those factors. So really, quadratic formula is all we can use here. Let me just rewrite this also so that I have a 1 out in front of that x squared, um, just so that I really know what the coefficients of all my variables are. Now, let me write the quadratic formula. That's negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And then we're going to have, if we plug everything in here, negative, negative 5, this is the b value, negative 5, the coefficient of x, plus or minus the square root of, and we're using that b value of negative 5 again and squaring it, minus 4 times the a value 1, times the c value, negative 2, all of that divided by 2 times that a value of 1. Simplifying things further, negative, negative 5 is 5, so this is going to be plus or minus square root of, this is going to be 25 right here, negative 5 squared. And then we've got negative 4 times 1 times negative 2. That's positive 8. All of that over 2. And then we've got 25 plus 8 is 33. And 33, there's no perfect squares that go into that. Um, so this is actually as simplified as it can get, and we are done. To solve this quadratic equation, since I have a linear term, whatever I do is going to require me to move everything over to one side, get it in standard form. So I'm going to rewrite this as 6x squared minus 2x plus 3 equals 0. So I moved the 2x and the 3 to be over with the 6x squared. And at this point, I have a choice between trying to factor this and using the quadratic formula. I'm not sure factoring is actually going to work here. It may, it may not. Um, but quadratic formula, I know, always works. So I'm going to go to that. So we've got negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So plugging things in, we have negative, negative 2. This is the b value, negative 2 right here plus or minus square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times the a value 6 times the c value 3 all over uh, we have 2a so 2 times the a value 6 simplifying further we have positive 2 out there that's what negative negative 2 is plus or minus square root of let's see negative 2 squared is 4 and then we have minus this is going to be 24 times 3 is 72. And then we're, sub we're dividing by 12 down there, 2 times 6. 4 minus 72, that's negative 68. I know I can at least take an i out of there because there's a negative inside the radical. And 68, I know that is divisible by 4. That's 4 times 17. So I can split up that radical into a perfect square times something else. Square root of 4 is 2, so I can write this as 2 plus or minus 2i radical 17 all over 12. And now since my constant here, the coefficient of my radical, and the denominator all have a common factor of 2, I can divide all three of those things by 2. So this can be rewritten as 1 plus or minus i radical 17 all over 6.